current U.S. Energy Department policy is to have 20% of the United States' electricity coming from wind in 18 years, with a sixth part of that goal to be achieved by way of offshore wind turbines. Now, there are several problems with this besides the price. One problem is that wind is inefficient in terms of surface area per kilowatt in comparison with nuclear or fossil fuel-based power plants. However, it turns out that the biggest risk to these turbines comes from wind itself. The first part of this problem is that wind does not blow at a constant rate. Sometimes the wind does not blow at all and therefore produces no power at all. Other times the wind blows faster. In fact, the wind can get so fast that the wind turbines turn so fast that it can destroy them. As a result, in really high winds, the turbines have to be locked down to protect them, thus generating no power. Also, in a twist of irony, researchers at Carnegie Mellon have shown that hurricanes, that is high speed winds, pose a significant threat to these turbines by toppling up to half of them. With the fact that each of these wind farms can cost up to $175 million, there's a significant concern about the unintended expenses of such sources of energy.